Hello, everybody. We finally have a conclusion to me getting scammed on a $7,000 card. All right. Spoiler alert. TLDR. I got my refund. This will be the story of how it happened and all the good shit. Anyways. <clears throat> so I bought it on eBay initially. Let me pull it up. I bought it on eBay initially for... 9,700 Australia dollars. All right. That is equal to, let me see, USD, it is $7,166. Okay. So I bought it. Let me see. I'll get my dates correct. I bought it on, I paid for it on October 17th. It got delivered on October. 29th today is november 21st 9 30 p.m okay so one month and about one one month october uh, not even one month four weeks okay so obviously it arrived i unboxed it on the same day i was making a video on it the video was supposed to be how I unbox things to make sure I don't get scammed so I have evidence and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so as you guys saw, I opened this thing and then inside was these two things that I ripped open. And then here we go, the fake one. All right, so now that everyone's caught up to the story, I complained to eBay. I, I complained to him. I was like, bruh, you sold me a fake one. Okay. Uh, if you want to see why it was fake and all that, you can watch the other video. Basically, I opened a case on eBay and then I just showed all the evidence like this is fake. I have a video of it. They don't take video evidence, by the way. They just take the photos. But I did tell them I had video. OK, anyways, I told them I had evidence on it. And then I was like, this is fake, blah, blah, blah. And then I, I was going to. Um, uh, they said, okay, fine, you have to return it. And then um, obviously the guy who sold it to me knows that it was fake. So he doesn't want it. Anyways, he's from Australia, so no authenticity guaranteed. This is the fake one. I'm just going to hold it up. So um, we had a whole long back and forth. Blah, blah, blah. TLDR. Um, basically... If he wanted to screw around and try to scam people, remember, to ship it from Australia to Hawaii is kind of expensive. It was probably like 50 bucks, okay? Now, why would you ship something with no insurance? Because it's fake, all right? So, to be to be as much of a pain in his ass as possible, um he had to he had to either give me a shipping label or pay me equal to the amount that it would cost me to generate the label okay so it was a whole back and forth with ebay i was like hey he's not giving me a label I, i'll go over the i'll go over the messages later okay we'll read the messages later it's very entertaining i'll leave that for the end after the story's over so basically he was like hey here's 50 dollars," and i was like no 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 you give me the whole shipping label with insurance equal to the value of the card or you pay me and then i went on fedex and then i i maxed out the insurance to the right amount uh seven thousand whatever i was like insurance priority okay 250 dollars usd and then basically long story short uh he didn't want to pay the full amount so it just went to ebay high value claims now High value claims is basically not a call center. It's a it's an it's an American with a functioning brain. Okay? Isn't it amazing? Those people are very helpful, but they are very hard to get a hold of. They work very limited hours and they don't work every day. And then because it was a high value thing, um I basically called them like seven times. And then uh it was always Wait a little bit longer, wait a little bit longer, wait a little bit longer. The most recent wait was uh, because it was a high value item. They had to like double check to make sure they're making the, the correct judgment call. 
So I just got my refund. I just got the confirmation of the refund today. They actually said they're supposed to give me a refund before because the seller refused to give me a shipping label. But um, they still said like, oh, since it's so expensive, we got to make sure. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. Um, just provide the evidence and then just keep following up. And then uh, eBay kept on saying like, oh, uh, we need to double check and all this stuff and all that. Okay, let's go over the messages. That, that'll give you guys a better... Because like this whole thing is he said, she said. And that's very... Uh, oh, by the way, I wanted to mention he paid me $50... I'm not paying him back unless he fights me for it. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, I went on my PayPal today and then I saw that he requested money from me. He didn't even open a claim. He requested money from me. He like billed me. It was like, he was like, you need to give me back my money for the shipping. I was like, <laughs> oh, where is he? Where is he? Okay, here we are. Let's go over the messages. So his ship, um, his shipping said it was going to take a month. Okay, we'll just go over like this one, one line at a time. Hi, I'll be shipped. Kind regards, George. George, you're a piece of shit, by the way. Look, hi, sorry, it's my first time selling Pokemon cards. Um, this is when I opened the case already. I opened the case... And then this was how he responded to the case. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. You guys can kind of read. You will not be refunded if you don't provide an account. Also, send the exact item in the photo with the same item that I sent you. Not the photo you took of a different card, then put it on the feedback. That's not what I sent you. He sent me this one. He took the photo from his listing, which is this one over here, off of a website. So obviously... I can't send him back this one because he sent me a fake one, okay? I realize you have a different card in the photo compared to the one I had. What a fucking liar, okay? You can accept the return through eBay and refund it. I recorded the entire thing. I have obvious evidence. No, you will give me account on P PayPal so, and I do as I told you so I can pay you to post it. Send me back my card, not the one you put in the photo. Obvious evidence of you putting different number card on the back that's not the same. George, I videotaped you taking it out of the package. I had photos of my listings. If it doesn't come back how I sent it, I cannot give you a full refund. Kind regards, George. You took the photos off the internet. I'm not stupid. Sure thing, but you removed and resealed it, Ken. It's very easy to open then close the package. You'll get your fake slab back, exactly like you sent it. Playing dumb, don't talk to me. eBay will handle it. Reject the return. Okay, we'll see how this goes. I have 1,800 items sold with no negative feedback. Also, if I don't have the money, it, if I don't have the money, if you're being rude and a scammer, Okay, I don't have the money in my account to pay eBay, so they will pay you back if you send the wrong item. Only scammers keep trying to talk their way out of it. I don't care. eBay will get the money back. I don't care if you don't send me back my item. You will not be paid in full. It happened before. Generate the shipping label back to me and you'll get it. Blah, 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 blah. Waiting for the label. You think you're a start smart scammer. I told you PayPal or account. Let's see who is right. Waiting for PayPal. Okay, I'll just go to them. I'll just go tell them you refuse to give me the label and then they'll pay and claw it back from you. Okay, you seem pretty rude I, and don't communicate kindly. If you do not give me your account or PayPal, you will not be paid. Good night, good night, blah, blah, blah. Stop screwing around or I might ac accidentally show the evidence to my couple hundred thousands of followers. I'm pretty sure I have his real freaking address. Just accept you tried to scam the wrong person. Okay, please meet, leave me alone as I would re like to resolve this. Resolve it by processing the refund. Okay, we're just going back and forth, okay? Stop playing games and I'll remove the feedback. I was never going to remove the feedback. 
freaking scammer. I just wanted him to just give me a refund already, so I have to go through the whole process. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Do what I told you. Send me your account. PayPal. Okay, just give me a refund. You know it's fake. We both know you're a scammer, okay? Um, here's my here's my PayPal. Shipping will be $250. Please generate this. And then FedEx priority is fine. He's trying to make it, he's trying to make it seem cheaper. He's like, oh, whatever. Just send it for cheap. I'll pay you for the cheap label so I have an opportunity to scam you for for 70 Australia dollars. Okay. And then I cop I it said, please pay the remainder to have it shipped with FedEx and insurance and in signature. Or have the label generated yourself. Attempt to scam. I have sent you the photo. I copy paste. Send the item I paid you. Copy paste. Can you have been the hardest person to deal with? Do as you're told once again. Send the item that I provided. Send the item. Copy paste, you motherfucker. Ah. This, ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, that's the copy paste. I will not be responding anymore unless you do one of the two options above. I, otherwise, I'll leave it to eBay. This is the cost to attempt to scam somebody out of $7,000. Grow up and earn a living like a real man. If I were you, I would accept it as a scam failed. As I've said previously, we both know that you took the photo off the listing directly off of PSA's website. A blatant video evidence that you sent a fake card that you... Bought for five dollars on Alibaba. You're a thief. Don't talk to me anymore. I'm like, okay, I won't talk to him anymore. Then after a couple of days, what not? Uh, not what not. Um, eBay was like, oh, he never sent the money. We, um, I guess we're just gonna. He never sent the money. I guess he's he's just forfeiting it to. He doesn't want the item back. And then there we go. He sent this other thing. He sent this to be like, oh, it's seventy dollars. Like. Bruh, you you basically he went silent for basically ten days, and then now he does he wanted uh he wanted them to uh step in and save him. Anyways, freaking scammer. This is my trophy for dealing with this. I'm gonna put it on display. The real ones will go in the case. The fake one will be on display as my triumph. Of costing a scammer 70 Australia dollars. I guess I didn't. Because, uh. Wait, he got a ref. He had to pay. Oh. So if I got all the money back, that means he had to pay to ship this fake card two ways. So actually, yes, I cost him. Uh, 140 Australia dollars. You see this guy? This freaking guy? His feedback? One negative. What a liar. What a liar. Look, this is what he sells. Where is it? He sells like fake, fake American dollars. It's like those gold ones right here. Look at that. 24K banknote, $104. Bruh. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.